animators go try hard on fan service moments. And I think we both know what happened last episode on the 100 Girlfriends. Chibi, tell me what happened. I watched an anime and are like, it's very clear what an animator is into. Well, okay. this episode of 100 Girlfriends pretty much has that exact same thing. Okay. Because when I started this episode and I was watching it, this scene happened where, you know, our main character, Rintaro, met yeah. this new girl called AI. Uh -huh. And she decides to grab his finger after he cut it. Put it in her mouth, and, you know, usually this is where the scene would end. Like, this uh -huh. is kind of how it was in the manga. Oh, so this is anime original, the fucking tongue movements. That was anime original? God bless the studio then. There wasn't anything too explicit, so to speak, but it was basically it. Uh -huh. And then you continue on with the scene. Rintaro is, you know, uh -huh. freaking out because obviously Show me that it's tongue like, movement. You, just, you, you stuck your finger or my finger into your mouth. It's like, <laughs> why are you doing this? And it's very clear that this entire sequence is an end to window. Let's, let's be honest. We're we're not, we're, come on, we've been watching High School DxD. I, I should have said right here, you know, Akino from DxD's Gok Gok or Nano's Gok Gok. I don't know, but both, we're, we're not strange to that motion, uh-uh. So it's just like, okay, okay, yeah, okay, like, you know, okay. Clearly, you know, this is just like, maybe mm. wondering if she doesn't have social cues mm. or whatever. Mm. But then you see this, and it's like... Yeah? There, there's some tongue movement going on there. We're not done yet, though. The tongue is actually going to show up inside. Yeah. It speaks for itself. Like, well, literally, yeah. she Say does it. it again. She talks about how, like, it would help. And <laughs> then you have this whole tongue scene, and it's like, bro, what? Like, <laughs> go back. Go, go, I, I go, one, more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Play you it. You can always tell when you watch a show that has some fan service in it mm. what the animators are kind of into. Like, if you see, like, extra detail on certain areas, like the the thigh mole, sorry, upper ass right cheek thigh mole. Thighs or the head or whatever. It's very clear in certain scenes what they're kind of interested in. And it's like, bro. We are watching peak. <laughs> like, this is art. Oh my goodness. This is like, art. Okay, I I'm going to be completely blunt here. Okay. AI is like my favorite. Are you serious? Even with the hair tuck, bro? Are you serious? Hmm? 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 female character at least when i of what i read of the manga i love her she's a great yes. character i love her per i mean even before we saw the episode like from the trailer reactions you knew exactly who i was rooting for it was nano because like her entire cool deadpan face her entire look the silver hair she basically kind of looks like comey with silver hair too right something about it was so cool to me and her personality is so amazing and like last episode, she's actually hilarious too. Like the deadpan humor of her just drawing the the example from the textbook rather than looking at the microscope because it's faster. Like that shit was like actually hilarious. Personality because obviously she's supposed to be a gag or a joke on an AI. Yeah. Someone that needs to be 100% efficient and anything that is inefficient, she doesn't want in her life. And obviously love and all that and emotions is technically not really efficient when you're trying to do things. So it, there's a lot of interesting things with her character that is played with within this episode there's more messages of like what would happen if like one of the girls that you know mm. red taro meets is so adamant about not having a relationship he never actually mentioned it to her though like the possibility that you could die like I, he's, he's never really said it to anybody but if we were to not do well on the date and you know nano like rejected us what would happen would she die or is she gonna be fine how does that work that could potentially jeopardize her life and allow her to actually be lonely. You know, there's a lot of things at play here, and it kind of is like the offer of the series playing with some of these themes that every encounter that Rintaro is going to have isn't going to be the exact same thing where they're going to be cutesy or they're going to be just fully on board with everything. There's probably going to be a lot of tooth and nail and struggling to get some yeah. of the girls to truly accept being in a relationship with and I think Nano's the first one, right? AI is the first one to ever actually reject or push back against Rentaro. I wonder if this is going to be like a similar theme moving forward. Because so far, like Shizuka, Hakari, Karane, they've all just been just down from the get-go, right? Um, even if they are soulmates. And this episode kind of presents that little conflict. And it's really nice to see. I really like what this episode presents. Obviously, everything gets settled in the end. But um, I just, I really like what this episode of 100 Girlfriends does. But I want to get back into this scene. <laughs> this scene is just Go back to the time. wild. It's yes. legitimately... Describe, I want him to do fucking, like, detailed fucking, like... Play by play, the Gok Gok animation. I want Shibi to talk about the fellatio act here on the finger. Come on. A wild scene of just yes. what they did here with this Describe animation. it. They did not need to do this. Describe but it. But they did. And it's just like, mm -hmm. it's very clear 
what the artist of this scene, like you know the. Oh, well, I mean, I think every know everybody knows what they're suggesting. Like, I mean, is this more fan service than the rooftop episode where we blindfolded Hakari and Karane? I think the cat scratching on Karane's panties. I think that is a little bit more than this. Like, okay, this is like an implied blowjob, but the other scene was explicitly a cat, literally a pussy, scratching onto a pussy, you know? Like, if, I, I don't know. So, when you see finger moments like this, I guess because it's an explicit act that everyone can immediately recognize, it is, like, more lewd in that sense, but I don't think that the rooftop scene was too far off. The animators, so to speak, are kind of into when you see this, because, like, and again, if the tongue movement was not in the manga, if the actual tongue, in, the inside POV tongue movement was not inside the manga, it was just anime only, the animators of this studio knows who the best girl is, and they went all out for her. The, the slava and all that. It's just like, it's just... There was a 69 with Hakari? Shit, I must have fucking missed it, actually. What the? F I know, there was the one where she kind of like fell on top of him. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yes. uh, there's not really much more to say because it's like, uh, it's a good episode. It follows the traditional themes of the previous episodes, but I just, I needed to talk about this scene because it just took me aback. Like, I was really of shocked course. by just the extra detail that was put for that. But uh, I'll leave it at that, y'all. You know, I just wish, you know, you know how Chibi sometimes he has, he talks in a very calm way, right? But even in topics like this, I just wish that he didn't like break character. And instead of saying like, you know, I'll let it t tell for itself, right? I wish he would like describe it like, like a play-by-play -play style being completely serious. Just describing the act of the implied blowjob. That would be just the funniest Chibi content to me. But guys, give this video a like. Sub to Chibi if you haven't. Great video as always. And by the way, we do these reactions live on stream, 7 a.m. PSD on YouTube. Hope to see you there.